Okay. Uh, All right. Now this one, next one is a title match, I believe. Yeah, it should be. You have the thing open. Yeah, I've got the. I've right, got the dirt cheap yeah, last one. The hell yeah, yeah these video the vignettes shot. are uh, a lot more common here. Oh yeah. Jericho versus Triple H. Another shot the world as Chris Jericho made history by beating both the Rock well. and Stone okay. Cold in the same night to become the undisputed champion. The undisputed champion. So this was the first. Uh, well, oh, does he have like the world and intercontinental belt? Yep. Or was this after the brand extension? No, no. This is this is. Uh, okay. This is pre that, so he has like the world and intercontinental. World and intercontinental. Uh, both belts on the uh, line in this match? Or? Yeah. Jericho became the first un undisputed champion, uh, which leads to the title of his book, Undisputed. Um, it actually took a long time. I believe the undisputed title was. Um, was on China, I think. China? Wait, China was China was the only female WWE wrestler to hold a major title that was that's not the Divas title. But she held both simultaneously? No, no, she held held one. Oh, I don't, I, I thought she was never she the was, undisputed. I thought you said she was something like the undisputed champion. No, I what I remember from the book when leading up to the match is that I think of China. Jericho was in this horrendous storyline where he was paired with China, where I'm pretty sure she was the undisputed champion. Okay. Uh, not undisputed champion, intercontinental, intercontinental champion. Okay. Who dropped it to Stone Cold. Okay. And Jericho took it from Stone Cold. Okay. Um, and this was a start. Uh, creatively, they wanted to push Chris Jericho as the next big thing, and his title reign was uh t took a back seat to triple h's injury and uh, relationship with stephanie and so try as they might they couldn't get jericho over as the undisputed champion and so they had this match at x to take it off which kind of looks okay um let me see here uh At the Royal Rumble, Chris Jericho defeated The Rock to attain the championships. Uh, and Triple H, who returned just seven days earlier from his quad injury, won the Royal Rumble to win the title shot at uh, WrestleMania. Uh, Triple H's uh, marriage to Stephanie was kind of falling apart. What, in real life? No, story-wise, okay. I guess. Were they married in real life says, at this point? I think they were. Okay. Though they might have just been dating. Okay. Uh, their marriage is falling apart. Stephanie reveals that she's pregnant with Triple H's baby, thus saving the marriage. I don't know how that's saving it. Some, um, some people will. They like their marriage is screwed up. They think, hey, maybe having a kid will somehow bring us closer together. <laughs> and that that that's not a good idea, people. Yeah. Don't don't breed as a form of couples counseling. It doesn't work. <laughs> Uh, Triple H received a phone call that she was not pregnant, and Triple H turned on Stephanie and attacked Mr. McMahon, announcing that their marriage was now over. Uh, following that, Y2J met with Stephanie and agreed to put their past differences aside, and Stephanie would now serve as Jericho's business partner. Wait, who's Y2J? Jericho. Okay. Okay, okay. and uh, with that all said... Get in. Okay. So what's funny about the um, the quad injury Triple H actually had um, was that he blew out his leg mm -hmm. running down into the ring, and so for like he was like in the match where he tore his quad for maybe like. A minute and a half. Okay. Um, something about the McMahon and, and now Helmsley family, I guess, uh, has them constantly injuring themselves running to the <laughs> ring. 
I, uh, which, which, which event was it where McMahon was like gorilla walking to the ring and then he like he tore something as he got in? You remember the one I mean? I, I do. I do know the one you mean. Because he run he, he gorilla walks down angrily, tore, tears his quad, uh, hobbles into the ring, and tries and stands up fast to make himself look strong still, mm-hmm. tears his other quad, oh. and then just ends up having to sit in the ring, still looking pissed off while running crazy. Yeah, he was giving this angry pain. tirade while, like, while se- seated on the ground. It was. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. Uh. Chris Jericho recalls the event, uh, saying that they had to cut the match really short because um, he was supposed to put Triple H in the walls of Jericho while on the announce table, mm-hmm. and he didn't he didn't want to apply too much pressure because he had freshly torn the muscle. Okay. So at this, um, at this, so at this phase, Triple H wasn't doing his Viking Overlord entrance. No. He wasn't Shao Kahn yet. No, not yet. I wonder if it's after he went and did, um, and fully cemented himself in the role as, like, uh, corporate Triple H. Okay, I don't know. That he adopted that gimmick? I don't know. This is Chris Jericho. Whoa. Coming out of the movie Tron. Yeah. While I've li- and liked him as a, a um, performer, I've never been the hugest fan of his in the ring. Okay. Now, where is, this, where is this happening? Ontario, Canada? Uh, I think so. I forgot to check. You really do need to research these things more than... <laughs> more than not at all. Okay, yeah. Just a little more the than Sky Dome, no, Toronto, Ken. Toronto. Toronto, yeah. The, the Sky Dome. Attended 68,237. What's interesting Theme is... songs. Tear Away by Drowning Pool and Superstar by Saliva. Huh. The pairing of Triple Eight, of um, Chris Jericho and Stephanie McMahon is really weird because during his feud with Triple H... Chris Jericho was the one who instigated the rumors that Stephanie McMahon was really loose. Okay. And which, like, he made it as a com as like a comment to get cheap heat, right. and everybody loved it. And <laughs> they just went with it. Yeah, and they went with it, and despite her never being in more than like one committed relationship at a time, <laughs> she now has this like reputation <laughs> of being a slut. I just imagine McMahon's like, we gotta push my daughter's sluttiness. <laughs> Sweetie, your gimmick is that you're a whore. <laughs> just the uh, whole WWE backstage. locker room at one time. <laughs> that was God. awful. I know backstage McMahon loved it, but then like had to back down from it when Stephanie wasn't happy with it. <laughs> I can't imagine why she wouldn't be. <laughs> so for this match, I am playing... Uh, the game Triple H. So let's see. Hold X at the feet of a downed opponent for the figure four. And uh, leaning AI against objects. Apply I do a really figure loud, four to It's the... time to play the game, but I, I don't want to blow out my throat I'm trying to do a Lenny impression. <laughs> so here we go. I always found the subsequent Jericho returns to be better than Jericho's uh, consistent character. Oh, what the fuck? God damn it. He must have reversed it. Now, what are your yep. objectives? So I need to apply the figure four lock to Chris Jericho while in the ring. Uh, the signature Ric Flair lock. So a funny story about the figure four. You you know who the Miz is, right? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, he's you know for for people who don't know, he is the son of a bitch. Wrong lock. Uh, he is the reality TV star who ended up 
uh, getting a WWE contract. Oh, I didn't know uh, that. I think I think he was on the Real World. Really? Yeah, that's where he got his start, and he on the show expressed great love for. God damn it! He expressed great love for pro wrestling and the business, and um, so they they brought him over. I think to OVA as a developmental talent. Okay. Chris Jericho, you son of a bitch. You break your eyes? He keeps poking me in the eyes when I go to put him in the figure four. No, no, no. Give me a next breaker now. Um, so the deal is... Um, he didn't actually have a whole lot of wrestling experience when he first came in. Uh... And yeah, so say, a lot of people really aside hated from being him. On, some, on MTV. What's that? What were, yeah, what were his qualifications aside from I was on MTV? I don't think he had any. Then again, David Arquette was once the world, WCW World Heavyweight Champion, so perhaps I shouldn't <laughs> criticize. That's true. Um, God damn it. Um, so you're saying yeah. So when he when he finally came in, like his whole gig was, uh, there we go. His whole um, gimmick was that he was like this super, uh, you know, super arrogant wrestler, and he was supposed to be like um, he was supposed to be a face, like, but this new awesome Wait, guy. Oh, you got some sort of every, showdown going on between Triple. H Oh, he's, he's yeah. shoving her into the ring. Yeah. Stephanie got herself into this mess. <laughs> uh oh. Give her the pedigree. Uh oh. Not likely. Oh. Did he? Wait. Did he? Who did he kick there? He. I'm pretty sure he kicked Triple H. Although it did look a lot like he okay. kicked us both. Okay. So now I have to get up. Oh shit! He's got a finishing move, which means he can lock in the walls of Jericho. Well, he went right over, thankfully. Okay, this is your next objective. Yeah, and I think I'm going to try and pedigree him through the table. And like every other time I've done this, <laughs> it, I it, it turns against you. <laughs> Yeah, not likely. Um, come on, get up, son of a bitch. Funny note, if I hit Stephanie, I will automatically get uh, disqualified. Really? Yeah. Even, like, outside the ring? or? Yep, doesn't matter. I, I Like, the first time I did this match, I accidentally hit her, and I just got d DQ'd. It was <laughs> terrible. Um, what was I saying? About what? I can't remember. I'm sure it was okay. <laughs> Getting a bit hazy here with both of us. I mean, to be fair, we did struggle with... Yeah, see, Stephanie McMahon constantly interferes. <laughs> and I'm just waiting for this last historical objective to unlock. I just don't know what it is. Oh. But yeah, that was the uh, um, initial push of this Stephanie McMahon character she now has. It's kind of funny. That she was promiscuous? Uh, huh? That was her yeah, that she, that she was promiscuous? That was her character. She's promiscuous. That's it. Tempted to end it here, but I'm trying to remember if if the last objective is any good to see or not. It might be is it escape the walls of Jericho. Maybe I should just let him knock me down. Whoa. 
Ah, uh, that is... That's a wicked move. So, do you know what the technical difference is between that and a bossing crab? Uh, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. Hmm. So... I, I, I'd have to get around with it. <laughs> so the, uh... Some trivia about Jericho is uh, his move went through a lot of different name incarnations. Okay. They were not sure what they wanted to call it. Really? Uh, he wanted his original finisher just to be the Moon Salt. Really? Uh, called the Lion Salt. And uh, because I think when he was... Who was he with prior to this? Was it WCW? I think it was ECW. Or no, yeah, it was WCW. Yeah. He was, when ECW he was with WCW that. uh he wasn't this rock star type. He was like, um, I think they called him the Lion Tamer, or something He's like the lion that. Heart. The Lion Heart. The yeah. Lion Heart, yeah. Okay, Corazon de Leon. Corazon de Leon. Um, so, yeah. And so he wanted, you know, to keep true to that, and they were like, no, no, we have too many lion cells. We have lion this, lion that. That's not. That's no good. Um, and so he was like, oh, well, okay, what do you want to do then? And so he learned this modified, uh, it was like a cross, they called it between the Boston Crab and the uh, Sharpshooter. Okay. And <laughs> Vince McMahon's idea was the Salad Shooter. The to salad promote the shooter? Salad shooter? The Salad Shooter product at the time. Did he have some sort of like cross promotional deal with them? He wanted to. I don't know. He wanted to push. But I, I have no idea. All I know is that um, here I'm just gonna pin him. Fuck it. Um, all I know is uh, Jericho was so unhappy with the name that he went and read like five, six different pages of names, uh, alternative names. And then one day he was listening to a metal album, and somebody said The Walls of Jericho. It's Halloween, I believe. Halloween, yeah. And he was like, yeah, that'll work. And <laughs> and they were like, this this name doesn't make sense. There are no walls or anything. But they are like, it's fine. Jericho had walls. And so he, for, for, no. for a while. <laughs> I mean, the move. Oh, the move does not involve walls. Yeah. Well, that's true. Then again, why is Triple H picking up a guy and slamming him called a pedigree? I have no idea. He's got huge traps. Mm. Obnoxiously large traps. So yeah, the real life interest is actually pretty, pretty apparent in our lack of ability to say anything about the match. You know, triple, uh, Chris Jericho had a push as WWE champion that wasn't that ended up not being too successful, and so they just had him drop it to Triple H.